this tip when we went to start this water jet up it uh, it backfired out of here into this uh, the garnet feeder so there's something jammed in this tip so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it's doing it's gonna turn the intensifier it blows fine I'm gonna turn the water the intensifier on it can pressurize so this it would do the same at, at high or low pressure and uh, when you go click water jet on you see it's coming out the side so we're going to turn the intensifier off it's going to drain, turn the water jet on and drain all that out we're going to look for the pressure to go down on this gauge and we're going to take this tip out we're going to shut this off now that we've drained the pressure that's down to zero we're going to come over here take this fitting out be careful Okay. Now what there is, there's a little, this little tapered collar. What we're going to do is we're going to load this water jet tip upside down and we're going to push the crap out upside down. So, got to be real careful with this, with this collar itself. So, you can also hold this up to a light and see, but uh, Yeah, it's, it's clogged. So there's something in there. So sometimes all that is is uh, uh, like a, a piece of uh, sand gets caught in the uh, in the, uh, the pressure pot over top of that. Yeah. Sometimes it's over top of that. So what we're going to do, we're going to slide this down here, push this into here. Now you got to be very, uh, pretty careful with these tips because they're carbide. So it should just slide right up in there, but it's not. Let me just make sure it's okay. So it's just got some crud on it. We might need to clean that off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean the, the little bits of sand and stuff that's on this off, and then uh, so it slides in there nice. And then we're going to run it backwards and uh, hopefully it should clean this out. Each one of these tips is about $175, so if you don't have to uh, throw it out, that's, that's better. So that just slides up in there now. I slide the collar up. This is a bit gritty, so I might just clean this off. I'm gonna take that so it doesn't drop in there. We're just gonna blow this off. You wanna make sure it's seated uh, nice and good. Okay. Now that we flip that tip, we're going to turn our intensifier on, and this is low pressure, and uh, what should happen, we'll stand back, but what should happen is that, so now we're going to stop our intensifier, you can see it cleared whatever was blocking in there. We're going to, we're going to drain that, and then we're going to flip the tip again to the proper orientation. Okay, so we just flip this back and we put it back in, so just a reminder, what you want to do is uh, you want to slide this little collar down slide it all the way into you hear bottom out lift this collar up till it sits on that shoulder and then tighten this down and that's gonna that's gonna tighten the uh, that tapered down and you want to be real mindful of that because you don't want this thing to fly out so what happened in the process is water went up into this head and now uh, we might have to look at uh, clearing this out. For sure, there's water in here, but usually, even with the water jet not pressurized, you should be able to turn the water jet on and see sand open up here, and we aren't seeing that. 
So we got a bit of a problem ahead of ourselves because sometimes it doesn't uh, it doesn't go all the way up in here. It just fires out the side. But now there's uh, wet sand in here, and now we're gonna have to clean that. Up. It's on. It's off pressurized. We're just gonna and this valve is open. We're gonna just uh, put a little uh, TIG welding rod up there. See if we can get the sand to come out. And it. Uh, There we go, starting to. I'm gonna turn it on and off a couple times. So it's coming up a bit, but uh, it's still not quite where it should be. So. This is kind of difficult. Sometimes, depending on the circumstance, your best bet's to probably clean all of, like take this whole pot apart and clean it out. We're gonna try to see if we can get away with that and try to get some of this, uh, this wet sand to come out because uh, that could be part of the reason why it was jammed up. But uh, that's, that's a little bit better. So I'm gonna turn it on and off a couple more times and make sure I can get a sufficient amount of flow like that. So we've got this cleared out pretty good. Uh, what we want to do is make sure this is all dry in there because any any moisture left over is going to end up uh, sucking in the sand and clogging the sand. So that should be that should be good. But if you're if, like right away, I can tell you if you have been, uh, if you experience something where the uh, your cut's not cutting, it probably for the next, like, I don't know, probably the whole sequence of this cut. If you're experiencing where the where the water's shooting back out, it's probably not getting enough garnet, and that's probably the issue. But without taking all of this apart, that takes quite a while. We're gonna try it and see if we can get away with it. I wanna make sure all the moisture's out of this. So, again, if you didn't clean that out, it's all for naught, it would, you would have had the same issue. So again, we're gonna coil this up and we're gonna try it again. We're going to turn our water jet on in low pressure mode and uh, and we're going to make sure it's drawing abrasive. So we experienced this during startup so this is this is part of the startup procedure. So you can see that we have that. You can see you can see the the instant uh, draw on that too. When I turn it off. That's because there's a venturi effect and it draws the sand out of the tube. So now what we're gonna do that seems to be good. We're gonna continue on with our our, uh, our cut.